To add a route parameter, I will navigate to the app.routes.ts file. Now, and here we have a couple of routes that can have parameters, like for example, the details of the movie, then the actors, the reviews, and also the search. To add a parameter, simply after the details, for example, in here, I'll add a slash because I want to have, for example, localhost, then slash details, then one. So I know that I want to load the details of the movie with ID one. Just defining here slash and then column and then a name, which in this case can be just ID. The same goes for the actor. So I'll just copy this part, paste it in here, then this here, and then in here. You can type in here whatever you want, but if you want to use this then in the component, you need to use the ID or whatever value you type in here. So for example, for the search, I'll just type in here slash, and then I'll not use ID, but I'll use movie title instead. Now let us just save the change in here, and then I'll go to the details component, and here we're going to see how we can capture that value. For that, we need to inject the activated route class, and this is going to be the activated route class. Let me just collapse the explorer. So we have the activated route in here. I'll just click add import to the Angular router. And then inside the constructor, we're going to use the activated route to get the parameter. So for that, I'll just type in here this dot underscore activated route. I'll just remove the D from here. And then dot params, which stands for parameters, then subscribe, I'll subscribe to the parameters, and then I'll get the parameters as a response. And here you can type whatever you want, you can just type a value, you can just type params or just a P. And then that goes to, and then inside here, I'll just maybe get the value first, which is going to be the ID of the movie, just type in here movie ID, so just an empty string, then you have this dot movie ID is equal to, and then use P, and then from here, I'll get the ID. So at this point, it's very important that what you type in here, so the ID matches with the route parameter in here. So in here, if you type, for example, IDS, then you need to update it in here to be IDS as well. Now, this is all you need to do to get the ID. And if you want, you can just console.log it. So console.log. And then in here, movie ID is equal to the this that movie ID. Now let us do the same for the search. I'll just close this one. And then I'll just go to the search.component.ts. Here we have the movie title. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to inject the activated route. Then down here, then I'll just have the movie title to be empty. I'll just now type this dot activated route dot params parameters, and then subscribe, then P, which is going to be the response from the description. And then down here, this dot movie title, then I'll set the value of the movie title to be the P, and then the keyword that we have used in here, which is the movie title. So I'll just copy this value, paste it in here, and this is all you need to do. Now, since we have updated the routes for basically the details and the search, we need to go and update the route links. So I'll just copy this one, details actors. I'll search. This is the route link. And then in here, you can either hard code it or you can just get the value from the details.component.ts, which is the movie ID. So I'll just copy this value. I'll just come up here and then I'm just going to paste it in here. Let us do the same for the others. So I'll just do the same for the reviews, the movie ID. Let's do the same for the movies. Now let us do it for the search as well. 
we need to have the two-way data binding. So in here for that, I'll just define that the search input, so ng model is going to be the, let me just go to the navigation component, HTML, and then here I'll just type search movie title. It'll be just an empty string. And then just have this one in here. We're going to search for this movie title. But let's see what this says. It says that you cannot bind the ng model since it's it is an, a known property of the input. So now we see that we have an error. That's right, because this needs to be a lowercase n. And if you don't remember this ng model with the parentheses and the square brackets, you can just check out the two-way data binding part of this course. So in here now we have the ng model. We have bound it to the search movie title. Let us now just pass it as a parameter in here. So search, and then we're going to have plus and then search movie title. Now I'll just save all the changes and go to the app. I see that in here I have an error. We said that property search movie title does not exist. So let us just go back to Visual Studio Code. And then in here, it says that search movie title does not exist, but let's go to the component, the S. You can see that this one exists in here, but let us change it to public and see what happens. Just go back to the app. We can see that the error is gone. So I'll just type in here, let's say movie and then click search. You can see in here that we are navigating to the search bar, but in here we see movie Ervis. We see the parameter up here, not as movie Ervis, but we do see that we have the search movie title. So let us just go back to Visual Studio Code and fix it so this value gets passed to the URL. So in here, what we need to do on the router link, we are just going to add the brackets in here, and then we have search and then after search we're going to have this one then we have the plus button and then at the end we're going to close it in brackets so it's going to be router link then we have search and then we have search movie title so this way we are adding this to the router link and then also add to the router link the square brackets so when you add the square brackets now you pass this one as a value instead of just the literal string. We have the same issue in another section. So I'll just search in here for slash then plus. It's on the details component. Let's do the same in here. So in the router link, we're going to have details and then close it with square brackets. And then in here, we're going to have single quotes and just add the movie ID. I'll just copy this A tag, scroll down in here, and just replace in here the actors with reviews. Just this part. So, after link, and let's copy this whole A tag for the similar movies. And then in here, simply replace the reviews with the movies. Just remove all the extra lines. Let us save the changes. Let us go back to the app. So now in here, I'll just search for Ervis Movie. Big search. You see that now I have Ervis Movie. If I change this one to Trupia Movie, click search. I have now Trupia Movie. Let me just go to home page and search in here for example, example, and then click search. You'll see that you are redirected. And now we are searching for the example, example. If you go to the home page and then just go to any movie, just click in here, you'll see that I redirected to this page. And now if you scroll down and you click view more, you'll see that I have details.actors.1. And if you just go to details.1, I'll open the terminal. With F12, go to console in here and then just press enter. You'll see that we get the movie ID value is equal to one. And if you change this to, for example, let's say 100, 
you'll see that the value of the movie ID is 100. So basically, whenever you navigate to the movie details, based on the value in here, you're going to get that data using the service and show all the information in this page.